Oh, hello, hello there, everybody. My name is Jurassic Daddy. Welcome to the weekly rambling video of the Jurassic franchise. And this week, I got a question for you. Who would you think would be Jurassic World Dominion's biggest critic? Would it be the fans? The critics themselves? Or perhaps the general audience? What if I told you the answer was actually universal themselves? How do I know? Well, oh, I got a little document here of the Universal Pictures script notes on Jurassic World Dominion. I have confirmed through some official sources that this is real. This is the real deal and it also gives us hints on on what other previous scripts had and they're not good <laughs> so yeah without further ado let's just dive into it and let's just start with the beginning part of the note which is basically universal telling like okay this is the fourth draft and um it's better but we still have problems um which is basically the TLDR is dinosaurs are roaming the earth but yet you focus on locusts and the dinosaurs are once again in a secluded area so instead of exploring them being out there in the earth you want them to be secluded Honestly, you really can't blame them with going like that because it's true. It's a big thing that Dominion, it's like a big problem that Dominion has. You have the din these dinosaurs roaming the earth, but you focus on an isolated valley that's totally not on another island. I know it's not an island, but you know what I mean. Anyway. Continuing on, another thing that they had is that basically they had no explanation on why um, Maisie was kidnapped by Delacorte. So during some of the revisions, that's when they finally said, okay, this is why um, and this is how. And um, another thing that they mentioned here is that they, uh, is that they like the way they fixed a few issues during the one of the final acts, which is... Owen defending Claire from the Dilophosaurus and how Kayla gets the helicopter. Um, and apparently, according to these notes, in an alternate scene, Kayla, while getting the helicopter, Dotson was in a helicopter. And so what she does, she just freaking knocks him out and just <laughs> leaves him right there to freaking die. <laughs> Which honestly sounds a bit more like, I don't know. It, I'm glad that we got Dotson's death in the movie because that one just is like, no, it, it could be better. <laughs> so that that was fixed apparently. And um, Sonia's original name was Sierra. And uh, of course, and she never was arrested like in the movie, like because in the normal movie she was arrested by Barry, but here she escapes and her fate remains a loose end. Which is kind of interesting, which makes me want to... I really, really hope to get my hands on some of the older drafts for Jurassic World Dominion. Because some of it sounds absolutely terrible and some of it sounds absolutely interesting. But anyway, now to some of other universe's concerns and complaints. Which is Maisie, Biosyn, and the Locusts. Universal was not kind of, was really not that happy with the Locusts because... Once again, they bring up the point, you have dinosaurs ruling the earth, but you want to focus on prehistoric bugs? Look, don't get me wrong. I absolutely like the Locust storyline in Jurassic World Dominion. It feels a lot like something Michael Crichton himself would write on one of his books. Probably not Jurassic Park. Probably not, well, probably, yeah, probably not Jurassic Park, but it feels something that he would make. But... Another thing that they really had a big issue is the controversial Charlotte Lockwood. And I do not blame them because it retcons a lot of what Fallen Kingdom did. <laughs> Damn it, it doesn't make the defenders so bad. So, uh, basically what they're explaining is like, 
why make Maisie's backstory more complicated when Fallen Kingdom perfectly summarized everything within a few sentences? She's a clone. Her grandpa was upset. The end. And again, I agree with the company with this. Like, why make her story more convoluted? Just say that maybe because of the she's she's a clone her dna is a bit different compared to a human and maybe that's why they want to kidnap her because dr wu kind of wants to study that maybe they could have easily done that and but obviously if you saw the movie eh, he needs her to um fix the locust um so maybe they could have a different direction they can still kidnap beta they can still kidnap Maisie. But since she's a clone, maybe some, there's something in her blood that can cure something in the locust. And studying the, the behavior of Velociraptor, because they're pack hunters, and the locusts are big swarms, which are just packs that can fly, uh, that's why he needs to kidnap both of them. And boom, problem solved. Honestly, they could write it a lot better. I'm literally just rambling over here. If I had time, I would write it better. But yeah, that is a very, very, again, it is a very good point, and I agree with them. Uh, because it really does just make this story a bit more convoluted, because he just retcons so much from Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> and it's just annoying. It's very, very, very annoying. Um, another thing is Biosyn and Dotson's objectives. And here they they basically tell in one of the drafts is that Ian Malcolm and uh, the, the 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 Ramsey were were in on it together that they knew what Biosyn was doing like they knew what they were doing but they didn't do shit until Dotson was like hey I'm, we're gonna kill Ellie and Alan Grant you guys chill about that. So yeah, that was in one of the drafts that Ian Malcolm was basically okay that the locusts were eating the earth. Um, I doubt that he would ever do that, and I'm glad that they changed it, that they were all in on it. Uh, so it could have been done better, but still. Um, and also, uh, basically, <laughs> Universal calls the, um, the writers out and be, be like, does anyone believe uh, that whole corporate bullshit? Like, they're basically saying, like, okay, a lot of what Biosyn is doing in the story within didn't make sense. Like, oh, they're evil because they're evil. And um, another point that they bring up is, like, okay, um, Ellie Sattler would not be the only one noticing that the locusts are eating people's crops, but not the ones that have Biosyn. Because if they're a big company, why would no one else notice this? So... Again, the movie still has that problem, but apparently one of the older scripts, or maybe like the final draft of the film before they slightly modified it, maybe, um, they basically implement like, like, oh, the rest of the world is dumb and um, Ellie Sattler and everyone else is super smart and, and are apparently the only ones can see the big problem here. So yes, um, another thing that was fixed. Um, and also, Overall, apparently that the previous drafts did a terrible job of introducing and establishing Bios and Bad, that's very, very bad. And now that they're showing more clearer motives, and, um, again, I kind of, the way they introduce Bios in is honestly perfect. I love the, just the way everything goes on in Bios in. I think it's perfect. Dotson just being an awkward um, CEO of technology, I think it's fitting because I mean, have you not seen every single te technical CEO? They're all awkward and just jitter and just do weird things. I mean, look at Mark Zuckerberg for crying out loud. So yes, um, they're, they're, we're much happier with uh, one of the final drafts on how Bo Dotson and Biosyn was handled. Now, Maisie and Beta. Um, TLDR, uh, Maisie basically managed to control Beta because apparently Beta kind of understood what Maisie was telling her. Basically being Blue Junior, which she already is. But anyway, uh, but they kind of thought, no, that's, just, that's basically a clone of what um, Owen is doing. So 
No, they kind of just scrap that secondary story. Uh, a part of me kind of wishes, I don't know, maybe they could have changed it a little bit because I kind of want to see that because maybe in future movies or shows, we can have like Maisie all grown up and then just have her be with Beta. And basically it's as if Owen had passed the, the torch to Maisie about the training raptors. But obviously, uh, the training raptors in general don't go well with the public audience, so I can see why they didn't bring they didn't bring that back. Now, um, next up, uh, next little paragraph is about the introduction, themes, and characters, and um, it's basically right here where the universal is like you. You freaking ended where that dinosaurs ruled the earth again in Fallen Kingdom, but once again, they're confined in a isolated area. Even though you clearly are establishing that the genetic programs and everything is now open sourced, and that the theme of coexistence is plays a large part, a uh, large part in here, but it's it's cut short. And it really doesn't focus on that. And apparently Universal loved the prologue, but that it was still cut. Thankfully, we have the extended cut coming out. And they also bring back point, uh, bring uh, points about the prologue, how it remind, reminded them of the T-Rex being loose in San Diego of the Lost World. And I'm just, and honestly, I'm just glad Universal just acknowledges the sequels for once. I don't know why, they just love ignoring the other ones, especially Jurassic Park 3 for some reason! Anyway, we're just gonna skip to the last part of the script notes, which is a glorified, which is just called summary, which is what I've been doing, but obviously I'm mo going more into detail. And basically the TLDR uh, to this um, note is that they're like saying, do Owen and Claire really need to go all the way to Malta to find Maisie? Can they not just go somewhere else or just like do something else? Because like the sequences there felt um, way too fast and furious. But honestly, I'd be lying if I didn't say that the Malta sequences are like one of the best parts of the movie. So glad they kept that in. Um, and that they, but they find Sonia, or in this case Sierra, a very interesting character, but she's basically un, she seems unnecessarily given Delacorte's role as a lead dino smuggler and poacher, which apparently that was that was Delacorte's uh, role in the original scripts. He was the one with the atrocity actors. He was the one smuggling and doing everything. But honestly, I don't mind because it since her fate has been left open, uh, maybe we can have her back in the future of the franchise, probably like a TV show or something like that. It would be cool. Heck, the Sonya TV show with the Atrocity Raptors. There you go, Universal. Got your idea right there. So apparently, um, the writers didn't know what to do with Kayla. That she was basically just the fifth wheel until the end, and. Her role is just limited to a pilot and nothing more, nothing less. So they thankfully fixed that in the final in the final part of the film because they actually made her interesting and she's just more than a pilot. She's basically Han Solo in the movie. I mean, really, I'm not wrong. She's literally Han Solo. Um, another thing that they mention is that they're glad that Malcolm is back. Uh, uh, being a philosopher and a comic relief, but he was kind of wasted. It's unclear why he now works for Biosyn or is, did he sell out? Which is, again, very true. Why did he even go to Biosyn in the first place? You'd think he'd be against that after he told the court in Falling Kingdom to say, Double dinosaurs, I don't give a shit. So yeah, it, that, 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 that is... That is a good point. Like, why is he even there? And that was never explained. And so, despite every all the improvements, despite everything that they've done, four rewrites, if not more, Jurassic World Dominion is disappointing. The underlying dinosaur sharing the Earth with humanity premise is intriguing, but instead of opening up the story and exploring the impact of prehistoric dinosaurs in the modern world and coexisting with humanity, the plot effectively brings it back 
to just another version of Jurassic Park slash world where the dinosaurs exist in their own contained environment manipulated by scientists and businessmen. The story is also drawn into in too many different directions by too many unrelated characters and never gels in, into cohesive whole with simple, clearly statable, um, statable through line. The number of minor and forgettable characters brought back from previous film also seem more gimmicky than necessary. That is the quote. That is the final quote for these notes. And look, guys. I am a defender of Fallen Kingdom. I love Dominion. But these criticisms are on point. Like, they are... These are major problems that the movie has. And I, that's why I want to ask you this question. What are your thoughts on Jurassic World Dominion? Do you agree with the company themselves that you found a few aspects disappointing? What would have you changed about Jurassic World Dominion? What would you've done? Answer in the comments below. And while you're at it over there, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Links in the description and in the comments. And don't forget to slash that subscribe button and slash on the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.